Off the steal for Bergen County College, Felisa Castillo ahead of the field, and Bergen jumps out to a 4 0 lead over Sussex County Community College. Bergen showing some great passing right here. Priscilla Quincino scores inside, and they would go up by six over Sussex. The score, 10 to four. Sussex needs some offense to get back in this game. Katie Harnigan, nice job of crashing the boards with a putback. They trail 12 to six. Sussex does a good job of looking for the open player. Amanda Haruzi scores inside. They trail at the half, 19 to 16, against Bergen County Community College. Bergen, tough defense in the second half with a pick pocket steal. Vanessa Villarjos throws up the one-handed shot. They go up 29 to 18. The defense for Bergen was something Sussex could not handle in the second half. Tia Cargagolosi with the steal and basket. They're up 34 to 20. Sussex keeps battling in this game. Give them credit. Good ball movement right here. Christian Cottrell knocks down the three. They trail 34 to 20. But Bergen just too fast and athletic in this game. They beat Sussex County Community College at SCCC. The final score, 52 to 27. Yeah, like I said, uh, we just kind of fell apart. We got real sloppy, which has been kind of our nemesis. We're, we, you know, we're missing our point guard. She's been hurt. Not that we're trying to make excuses, but it kind of shows. Uh, you know, we don't really have people that can handle the ball, which has been a nemesis for me for two years. But we've got a little better ball handlers this year than we've had in the past. But we just don't collectively have enough players that can make things happen. So, you know, and then, like I said, Bergen uh, played hard, and they threw up a couple shots, uh, falling down, and they go in the basket. We throw up baskets, and they don't go in. So uh, that's the rub of the game. So, Just talking about the end of the first half. You guys finished strong. A beautiful run out with Hardigan, Haruzi, and it's a three-point game. Well, you know, one of the things that we've been struggling with all year is that, you know, I, I don't question the girls' heart and playing. It's just that our, you know, our basketball acumen is just really not there. Like, if teams make adjustments, we struggle making adjustments and trying to do certain things to counteract. So, in the beginning, when, when they're not sure what we're doing, we can hang in there. But then, as soon as teams make adjustments, then we struggle. You're coming into the part of the schedule now. We talked beforehand. You feel you guys can be a little bit more competitive. Is that something that you, you, you're you talking to the kids about, like hang in there, it's going to get better? Yeah, you know, you, you always try to find a, you know, the silver lining in the in the dark cloud. And, you know, and there's a lot more things in life than just basketball games. But obviously I'm very competitive. The girls are competitive. We want to win. We're, we are coming to a schedule, part of our schedule, that we could be a lot, we should be a lot more competitive. So it was very, very disappointing tonight. I, I, I thought it would be a much closer game. Um, I think it, I thought it'd be more like the first half, you know, three, four points, not not 20. So we'll kind of see what happens, and hopefully we can, you know, move forward.